Miles is brave not because he's going to be a superhero. He's brave because he's battled a very adult battle, beginning at not even two years of age and battling leukemia. They're robbed of their childhood for three years. We hope to restore some of that, turning San Francisco into Gotham City and help Miles have a little bit of his childhood back. Gotham City needs you, Batman. This is Police Chief Greg Sir, only hoping you can hear my voice. It's critical that you call me right now. We have a damsel in distress. But that's just the beginning, Batman. Just the tip of the iceberg. You have to call me, it's urgent. Please, Cape Crusader, we need you. And bring the Bat Kid. I don't even know after 15 years that I can appropriately articulate what that power of a wish is like, but you know it when you see it. The attention on Miles and, and this wish, um, and what really what San Francisco is doing, is incredible. Um, part of the process of what Make-A-Wish does in planning a wish is giving the child something to look forward to. So during Miles' darkest moments of chemotherapy and being sick in hospital stays, this was a distraction for him to start thinking about when he was going to be Batman. It got picked up by a blogger and it just went viral. And as a result, um, th the wish has taken on a life of its own. I, I don't know what scale a five-year-old thinks as of a lot of people. <laughs> and it comes from a town of a thousand. I know when it works when I look at the parent's face and I look at the joy that they receive. He's in remission. He just finished up his last chemotherapy. It's one of the reasons the family asked to do the wish now so he would have energy. Superheroes need a lot of it. I think this wish just really struck a chord with people. A lot of people remember from their childhood wanting to be a superhero, and here he is battling leukemia. And as far as I'm concerned, every child with a life-threatening medical condition is a superhero to me.